Howdy folks, uh, <clears throat> got a lot of different things to look at today, it's Monday, and uh, picked one of these up at a yard sale for a couple of bucks uh, over the weekend, and it was like, these things are junk the way they are, but they can be made to work really well around the shop to help keep all your cable collected up, but at the same time still work as an extension cord and have an output on them. It just takes a little bit of a, I guess we'll call it just a little bit of a trick. So we'll get into that, but I've also got some adopters over here for power tools we've got a car jumper and i've got a new product to show you as well that's online so wow let's uh let's get started there's a lot of different ways this could be tackled in fact one of the ways i could do is actually 3d print a part that would hold the cable here so that the output is on the side because really the whole trick of this thing is to be able to have the cable available the output on one side and have the plug in or mail end also on the loop so that you can plug this thing in and take this to wherever you actually want the power. The easiest and stupidest way to do it is get a couple nice cable tie wraps like this right here. Cable ties, yep, and drill bit. And we're gonna drill a couple of holes in here and mount the cable so that the output is right here at all times. And then the rest of the cable can be gathered up. Sounds simple enough, right? Let's go get the cable. And here, like always, yeah. This is the mess you don't want. This is why I like having these things around. I have some more expensive ones, but this one's about as cheap as it can get. But for yard sale for two bucks and we can convert it to a decent one, hey, let's go. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is probably uh, just throw it off the bench. What a pile of knots. So what I'm gonna do is use, the, use it uh, this way and clamp this in so that it's like this and held with the uh, cable ties so this stays available. So this is ready to plug. And it's kind of like an extension cord at this point where you've got this end right here. The rest of it can be reeled up. Then you have the male end at the other end, of course, and you can plug in. And the easiest way to do this is, like I say, is just, just cable it in like that. And then put all your cable on here, and that way you can pull out what you need and just roll it back up with whatever you don't need at the when you're finished. It's just a you know, a, just a way better way to make these things work. Okay, so all I did <clears throat> here was I just cut, I just drilled two holes. There's a sort of a interesting plastic form right there. So I was able to just put this into that well a little bit and tie wrap it in. Now I can roll all my cable up. Okay, recording. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, this was a hundred foot extension cord, by the way. And I still need to cut that off. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the ground's missing. That's pretty cool. This was the extension cords from a yard sale too, of course, you know. You know me, but now see, I can roll this out to plug into wherever, and then I've got this to plug into at the job area where I need the power, and I don't have that huge rat's nest of you know cable laying around. So if you see one of these, think about it. For a couple bucks, you can make yourself a nice place to have uh, keep your extension cord stored up real nice, and you don't have the mess. Now the next product I wanted to show you, this is only going to take a few minutes I think because, well it's one of the reasons I've sort of mixed up the show today a little bit to add some different product because I don't think it's going to take very long. Uh, this is a pretty cool product. It's a battery that has a USB uh, opening on here where you can you know, charge the battery up. Uh, it also has a little button here you can push and see what's fully charged. So there, there's the battery, but it also comes when you can order different adapters. So in other words, you can get in this case here, I think we have the, uh, should be, yeah, for Craftsman. And we can uh, take this off the, uh, take it out of the box and slap it on the battery, which is like, like this right here. See if I can do this without screwing it up. And now we have an adapter on here, which means now we can now hook this to our our Craftsman drill, and we're we're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, it does come with adopters for this case. This kit was with Bosch, so if you have the 20, I think it's the 20 volt Bosch. I really am not clear on that part, uh, and I'll tell you why. Uh, made in China, and also we have Makita. Now, there's a problem. I brought a Makita in. And I could not get the adopter to work with the Makita. It was an old, really old 18 volt Makita. And it's possible that I might have had a generation before whatever the adopter fits, but it looked like it would fit. So it does appear to be an interesting product. And what I like is you, you have no charging station. So you can plug this battery to a you know, USB, charge the battery up. And then once it's fully charged, you can uh, run power tools with it. 
that's about all I got to say about this because it's kind of a it's kind of a cool product if you have Makita and Bosch and all that kind of stuff laying around and you don't feel like see if I can get this apart now <clears throat> there we go uh, and you don't feel like having you know charging station charging state you know what you can do the whole thing off just a single battery so it's a really a cool idea and it's from Sneer Seer Seer CERN I don't know how to pronounce that but uh, I will provide a link in the description below where you can find this kit and take a look at the price of it and everything. It's, um, it's a problematic with me because I don't have Makita or Bosch. I only have, uh, <clears throat> you know, this old Rigid and uh, some old Ryobis and stuff. So there are different adopters you can get for the different uh, drills and impacts. So I think it's a terrific idea. I think it's a terrific kit. Uh, and, you know, just all you're paying for is the adopters and you don't need a charging station, I'd say that's pretty. Also, because I'm on solar, you can plug this into one of my solar packages and charge this up. And therefore, I don't have anything plugged into the house on the grid, running night and day to you know maintain my batteries for my uh, drills and stuff. So, pretty interesting product. Uh, we're gonna stop right there with this, like I said. Uh, we'll provide a description in the link below where you can find all this. It's an interesting product. We're gonna set it aside because I gotta move on, I'm gonna show you something else today too. I oh, yeah, there's, like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on today. So we're also gonna look at a car jumper. <laughs> and this one is from a company that has been around for quite a long time. Um, I've seen this brand name around forever. So yeah, and this one is really good because I really like, this is the, you know, the finger, a hard button. So you know when you turned it on, you know when you shut it off and it looks like I need to, yeah, I need to charge it. When we come back, mm, I've got a sale price on this, so the link down below in the description will also include, I guess, some kind of a deal on it right now. So that's really cool, too. Uh, I don't, you know, I just can't say enough about them because once you see one of these used one time to get somebody out of a problem getting an engine started, this thing becomes like second nature to got to have one with the car, the truck. But also, if you're having trouble, and this time of year, this is springtime, this is when we start up those things, you know, lawnmowers jet skis, motorcycles, sometimes RVs that have been sitting over winter. This is going to make it easy, you know, and it's a jumper. Yeah, it's a car jumper. It has a tremendous, uh, mosquitoes in here today. It has a tremendous amount of uh, rating for just starting up a car. You know, you hook to the batteries and away you go. Now, uh, other thing that this one does have, it has the flashlight, but it also has the SOS and the uh, 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 strobe lighting for emergencies. So it's, you know, a little handy thing right there. Also, you have battery banks. You can charge your cell phones, your iPad, whatever it is you have. And I've got mosquitoes in here with me. God, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, two different lengths so they don't smack together and spark and whatever. So that's a good thing. I think you could probably weld with one of these things. I'm going to have to try that sometime. Now, right here at this end by the light, they have a really stiff door on these things. I don't know. I'm not sure why they did that, but... Uh, you just stick her in here, plug her in. Now, once I plug it in, you'll see nothing's happening. I'll hook to the batteries. Now, when I'm ready, I can push that and it'll say, it'll say, ready, you know. That's why I like the hard button because you can, you know, if you're in any kind of weather conditions, having the hard button makes all the difference. And I'll just unplug that. I know this thing will start my Jeep. Uh, there's, there's almost no point to even doing that. Sometimes I play with the Jeep just to start it now. There's your uh, flashlight. It's fairly bright and can act like a flashlight if that's what you need. And also there's the uh, strobe. And then I'll see if I can get, yeah, there goes the SOS, you know. Yep, isn't that awesome? Wow, that is pretty neat. It's a great little product and it's not that high in price. It's a lot cheaper than buying a car battery these days apparently, so they tell me anyways. Okay, now I gotta shut it off. There we go. She's all shut down. And it comes in a nice carrying case. USB cable, so you just charge it off a USB. And it's a USB-A to a USB-C. The USB-C obviously goes in the unit, the USB-A goes in whatever USB source or whatever you have. It's just a five volt uh, USB thing. You stick it in and hey, charge this up and you can jump whatever you need when you need the power. But you can carry this thing around with you and it'll stay fully charged or almost fully charged. It seems like a very, very long time, more than a season. So as long as that's in the back of the car, truck, whatever, you know you've got that with you. Or if you have a boat, something like that even. Same thing, if you've ever had a, you know, a battery, it can be questionable. My brother-in-law's Toyota was only four years old. His battery was dead one day. And he, does, he, he was in a situation where he cannot afford to be stuck. 
someplace with a dead battery. So, you know, this is the sort of thing that can, you know, get him back on the road so he can get at least home with the car and then worry about getting a battery or whatever for it. Yeah, four years on a new battery. <sighs> wow, yeah, that's sad. But uh, this is just one of those products that I just think that it's just terrific and it's a great price. So I highly recommend take a look at this one and look for that brand name because this is this company does make these they make good ones yeah not like some of the stuff that's out there but this is a good one okay now uh we got to move on to the next product oh, crazy day okay and the final product today is from uh inventorswood slash etsy.com and they have two different plates right now they're putting out this week so these will be out for a while i guess but uh it requires that you have a medium-sized wall plate but i'll i'll come around and show you what this I'll put the plate over it and I'll show you how this this mounts to the wall with your light switches and uh, yeah there you go <laughs> yeah if you have a man cave or something or you know uh, kids in the house whatever they they might like to have that around their wall wall, wall plate uh, these are only $9.95 uh, with free shipping each so that's a pretty good little item they also have this one for $11.95 which is a full sized uh, wall plate same size as what one of these would be I guess and again has the famous logo area 51 <laughs> yeah. so thought I'd add that into the show today because uh, it was just something that's uh, coming out and these are coming I guess they're being made on the machine right now as we speak so yeah the availability might be limited uh, to begin with but we'll see how that goes I'm out of here hey thanks for checking in on us and hanging out in the garage today and I'm uh, over and out Ooh.